Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here. Wanted to show you guys that I got the Hell's Redeemer by round 14. Earlier, it was so funny, I tried to do this commentary already. I called it the Golden Retriever. The Golden Redeemer. Uh, obviously mixing up with the Golden Spork. But uh, but yeah, the Hell's Redeemer uh, by round 14. It's the earliest that I've seen myself be able to get it. Uh, let me know if you guys have have actually got it earlier than that. I personally have tried and I'm not made it happen. I've done this on round 11. Tried to kill all these zombies up here by round 11. Then went back by round 12 and it didn't work. So what I ended up doing is on round 12, I killed all of the zombies, including Brutus, on round 12. And then it started round 13. I killed all of them but a handful. And this is the way to do this if you guys are trying to get the Redeemer in solo. Basically you kill all of them in one round, then go into the next round and kill all of them but a couple because I think you actually have to complete an entire round. It's not a set number of zombies, it's a, it's an, a complete round. Uh, once you kill all of them in one round, which 12 seem to be in the magic one for me, um, then you have to come back into the uh, prison area and then you need to throw your Hell's Retriever into this fire pit whole thing. And you have to be able to throw it and have it stick. Now I've tried this on round 9, 10, uh, and it just it doesn't stick down here. And this one... By 13, it actually stuck down there, and you can see now on the lower right-hand side, the Hell's Retriever is just flashing, and it won't actually um, come back. So that's kind of crazy to know. I've actually was able to throw it still as well. I think it was a glitch that I was able to throw it, even though the uh, the Hell's Retriever I didn't have on me. So um, at this point, I'm just uh, trying to play it safe here because I threw it down there. Now I need to make my way back over to to the other area by the shower and there's the door over that kind of accesses the Hell's Retriever uh, from there but uh, right here I was like wait nope don't want to go this way and then I was like oh man these guys are just swarming me um, but basically what, what the reason why I left these three zombies here is because the Hell's Retriever spot does not flip over uh, until so it basically flips from red to blue until the next start of the next round uh, so if you only have a couple zombies left you don't have to go through an, an entire round. You only have to just kill these three, and then all of a sudden you can get it. So I'm going to show you guys right here. I ended up killing them, and it goes from round 13 to 14, and the light turns wow. to blue. Like now I know I'm able to get the Hell's Redeemer. So that's the earliest I've been able to get it. Let me know if you've been able to get it earlier than this. Um, man, I, I, I really don't know what the earliest is possible, but 14 isn't bad for my, my, uh, my own sake, and this thing is extremely powerful if you've never used it. It's a one-hit kill, and I've been up to round 41 now, and it's still a one-hit kill with the zombies up to round 41. So, pretty ridiculous. It also charges three times. Um, if you need a full tutorial on anything, check the playlist in the description again, though, and, and I should have lots of uh, information for you guys there. But it got the Hell's Redeemer now, and uh, round 14. Pretty crazy, and uh, definitely was was nuts. Now you just got to survive uh, at this point. You got to be careful and survive the whole round of 14 because I, I don't personally like this area for training, but it does uh, help. At this point, I have the Golden Spork, the Hell's Redeemer, the Hell's Retriever now, and uh, the Blunder Gat, and I just about died right there, uh, the, or the Acid Gat, and so uh, it's pretty, pretty awesome to be able to have everything by round 14. Uh, anyway, have a good one. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.